Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3 where I made a couple changes at the suggestion of, uh, uh, just forgot your name. It's cool. Um, but somebody did mention that I seem to be steamrolling everything and I haven't really died a lot and so they suggested turning up the difficulty level. And I was like, hmm, yes, this is interesting. So we went from the story and sword to blood and broken bones, which I think the only difference, because I've checked, the only difference is that when I meditate, I don't regain health. Um, I mean, of course, obviously, there's like, you know, the monsters and everything hit harder as well. I also uh, did, I turned on enemy upscaling. So we'll see. I might turn that off soon. Because I saw on the forum, one of the last comments was like, That is pretty, can't believe you freaking play on that level. Because I was trying to figure out how to do it. Because I couldn't do it from the main, couldn't change the difficulty level from the main menu. And somebody was commenting on somebody else's post. Like, uh, I mean, like, such a, it's for kids. Like, I can't believe you play on that, like, difficulty level. And I'm like, just going, doing that whole stereotypical thing, you know. Where it's just like, really, guy? Really? Do you think you're still relevant? It's 2018. Get over yourself. Like, <laughs> I will play on, I will play play on easy if I want to like don't even don't even like <laughs> it's just funny oh I think I made the map thing bigger on accident the, the top right thing it used to be smaller make it smaller um all right we are gonna go find the boot black that's what we're doing I was trying to think I'm trying to think of what we're doing Okay, sweet. I will just... So yeah, see my health, my health, apparently, so the health is regenerating, but it regenerates much, much slower on, uh, broken, blood and broken bones. So hard, it's just hard, okay? It's hard difficulty. I'm trying to make it all fancy. Why is it harder in the night? I think I, I changed my brightness a little bit, I think, as well, on accident one day. So let me know if it's, like, uh, really different or really bad or anything. Like, weird. Of course, I'm, I only run this game at 30 frames per second because, you know, my computer that's running the actual game would explode. If I tried to do it otherwise, but also the memory file for the video, the video file would be massive. Whoa! Not as big as if I also did a 1080. I did that for a while. It was a really Boot bad idea. Don't usually work nights. Need to come oh. back during the day. What a good point, Geralt. Let's go. Our Oh my gosh, yes. Let's meditate up here. Nobody will find us. Nobody will notice. No one. Nobody will notice. Uh, nine, 8 a.m. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? Ha! <laughs> All you need to know is, long as I'm here, you're not gonna touch the boy. Is that so? Then we'll come find him once you're gone. Try it, and I'll find you. Is that a threat? A hundred percent. Leave the kid be and piss off. Oh no. No northern sheep titler insults us. We'll pummel the spine first, then spank the piglet. Get him! Let's see how this. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look at it! Shut up! Wow! I just 
got beat the tar out of me. Great. What's the meaning of this? The brawl. Who started it? I'm the victim. I'm on the ground. Ow. Owie. I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Beating small boys. Obstructing my investigation. <laughs> ah, right. A few days in the clink ought to teach me to repeat <laughs> If I'd have won, if I'd have won, I might Come not on. have been so bitter. But since I lost, I'm going to be that petty person. And he probably is running a scam. I would not doubt it. Street kids are smart. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. <laughs> yeah? How do you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard. And as you're the stronger, come morning you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about uh -huh. the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Partners? Partners? I gotta turn off that upscaling. I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait. Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stunt. A seat, sir, please. I guarantee you my boots aren't that clean. They can always stand to use a little bit so of shine. Then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. Whoa, look at those muscly Rival. dudes in the background. Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How mm -hmm. much? Let's say... <laughs> oh, what? you're hilarious. Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Oh, my gosh. Got it all planned out. This kid is smart. I should think so. Capital is all I require. All right. Let's see if we can't figure something out. Go way down. Like, no, I mean, seriously, we're going 250. Is it all the way at the bottom? <laughs> That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. Oh, gosh, kid. Your other option is for me to not give you any coin whatsoever. Out of the question. Quite simply, no. No. Just one problem. Don't have the coin. Oh, See my gosh. I I used it. Okay, nope. Never mind. Back. I'm going to freaking so do the thing. Awaits your return. I'm not spending five hundred dollars. No. Oh my gosh! Look at my health. That was okay. That was amazing. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Um. Yeah. Gameplay. Enemy upscaling. No, thank you. Um. Try that one. Kid, I'm flat broke. Like, I can't give you that much money. I got I got manticore armor to make. Oh man, I'm actually I'm kinda tempted. But like, what the frick? The kid shouldn't be asking for that much. That's a little bit that's outrageous. Bloomin' outrageous. Like, what's it? What? He's gonna ask a random stranger? Like, 
hey, can you give me 500 crowns? 500 crowns for information on somebody? Like, no. Hang on. All right. We'll... Um... It's probably this one, to be honest. We'll just go through all these loading screens till I find the one I want. Ah, I'm thirsty. I forgot my water again. It's fine. We'll get to the actual game eventually someday. It's probably the j difficulty so level and nothing to do with enemy Whether upscaling. For a week or the you can't play. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, just blah, 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 blah. Let's yep. try again. Oh, we'll pop. Okay. But move. We'll crack oh, some lives. Oh, 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 I'm They're being mean to me. Ah, yes. I'm ah, come on. Kill. Uh, uh, we'll be the. Yeah. And a bit of. I've got so. Let me think about it. Listen. What? But my boot. In this. So. One of your patrons. Freaking kid. Arrival. How much? Let's say. What? Gotta be expo hmm. I should Uh no. No way. Not about to contribute to your shady venture. You'll tell me what you know for free. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. As you wish, sir. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No, but you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, Regis! Here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I have the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. <laughs> Perhaps later. Regis is great. I think that guy in the background was throwing up. Handle that well, follow you. Well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning the right thing to bribe them with. You know, it's a. Oh, hang on. We should probably regen some health. This is where that extra stuff I got, the extra mutation stuff will be useful, I guess. Um, I'm actually going to eat some food, too, to speed things up. Uh, okay. Wait, oh, do I have... Um, I don't really have like a big pile of food anymore, it looks like. Oh, there's the water. I used that. 
Well, the honeycomb goes fast. Oh my gosh, look, Regis, there's ravens. There's ravens all over this house. Yeah, hmm. Hmm. No other house has a bunch of ravens. Good thing I stopped to take a snack, huh? Otherwise, I wouldn't have noticed the birds. Everywhere. Alright, here we go. There, I would have noticed the birds. <laughs> Won't budge. Gotta break it down. Oh, chill you out, might girl. just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum, and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more <laughs> finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your <laughs> idea. Give me a moment. Your bag is doing weird things. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that would come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. <laughs> what? I considered it. I considered But I ultimately concluded that it would be terribly dull. I love him. He's so great. I was going to say, it looks like that rocking horse out sign outside looked like a children's toy shop, but I wasn't sure. Sense him. No, he's not here, but he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Why is he in a creepy. Why are the marionettes? Like, why? You know what I mean? Let's look around. At least do, do us the decency of taking the marionettes down. Regis, I love you too, man, but... Oh. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. Okay, so there's gonna be, like, something to do with kids, maybe. Oh. Dear Master Shopkeeper, for a long, long time I've been asking my parents to buy me a toy. Mommy always cries and says we don't have any money. Daddy gets cross when I ask him when he will earn some and once he nearly hit me. My friends have beautiful toys. Laura has a teddy bear and Michelle has a doll with golden hair that you can brush with a real comb. I worry that I will never have a toy, which is why I'm writing to you, Master Shopkeeper. I wanted to write this letter to you a long time ago, but I didn't know how to write then. Now I know. If you have a pretty toy that other children don't want, I will look after it. It will be happy with me. Please don't laugh at me. I know I am little, but I also know that toys are not really alive. They only live in our imagination. So what? I would love it very much. Does that laugh? Did that laugh take over this place, or did he? Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. Or yeah, yeah. Or is he fixing? It's rather disturbing. Um, pfft, bro, I feel you. Like, thank you. I'm so glad. Uh oh. Eviction notice. Due to the non-payment of rent for the premises used for shopkeeping purposes, the Administrative Court of Buclair orders the tenant Alaric de Samp to vacate the premises within seven days. Not complying with his eviction notice shall cause a custodial sentence to be imposed upon the debtor. The length of the sentence shall be determined by the debtor's court. Unfortunate. Oh, that's outside. Was there nothing? Okay, nothing to look at outside. Dolls, dolls, dolls. A toy sword. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Okay. Thick. Okay, I didn't. Oh, well. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Give it. it. Nice little trinket. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Yeah, yeah, I 100% I agree. With Sometimes you. I think I might end up like one of these toys. What? Cast off in a building somewhere? Is that what you're saying? Old, misused, and. Wow, that's. that. Was that like a mm, reference to something? Somebody fixed this recently. I, I feel like that was a reference. Puppets rather disturbing. Yeah, Regis, I feel like they've possessed you now at this point. Okay. No 
one keeps anything Attic. important downstairs. Whoa. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's the most important part right over there. It's all... Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Detlaf van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Uh, Proof positive wow. Detlav killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Detlav have any enemies? Indeed. Detlav gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. She's beautiful. Possibly in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlav yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renoed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him the time before he came around to save me. Though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Dedlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Dedlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Hmm. This is interesting. So he's putting vampire cultural norms on her and and on her actions and is perhaps not seeing that she may she may have left voluntarily she may have left I wouldn't blame her if she left because he got angry like any woman is fully entitled to leave because a man gets angry and looks like he's about to kill her like she doesn't doesn't feel like she's safe peace out like I'm so sorry about your emotional well-being but uh, I, I value my life. <laughs> Dedloff ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important. Higher vampires have their ways. All kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks. Leave no way for him to find her. Or she was taken by clever vampires who also picked up her stuff and took her away. Or maybe she wants to be a vampire. I don't think you can, but you can't become a vampire though, right? In this, in this story, in this world. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of options. Even if Renoed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills yeah. for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. He brings up a good point with the Yennefer yeah, thing. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. 
Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Okay. Good, I wanted to look at her picture if I can. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. That Renawed? I don't know. As I said, I never met her. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Hmm. I mean, she's beautiful. Whoop. Tools were used recently. Detloff unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really, now, Geralt, must you? Meh. Oh, not that. Oh. Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. beautiful very sad um. each point of toxicity increases damage dealt by swords and sign intensity adrenaline point decreases damage received by 15% oh my gosh or we could get that one applying critical effects to opponents activates a random decoction for 120 seconds wow you can actually randomly activate three your witcher senses help you see better oh so you can just use your witcher sense and then crossbow damage blah Let's activate that one. Oh, I thought I was using my points to do that. No? Oh. Ooh. What? I don't know. Okay. Ooh. What the? So I faced myself. I've got myself on an alchem alchemical uh, setup. I am probably with this um, with upping the ante on my on my um, difficulty. I'm gonna need to complete the set sooner rather than later. Critical chance, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage also applies to bombs. The maximum number of charges for each alchemy item is increased by one. Oh! Hmm. I need the sword and the gloves. I don't have the money for it right now, though. I have to sell some things. I don't know if I could access a chest and pull out all my old things and sell them. I might make bank. Which I could do that. I think I can do that from my house. Letters naming the beast targets. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de Lacroix. Detloff's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in. Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. 
Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Blackmailer. And a curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Yeah. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink. And not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence. Clearly. I mean, he's still murdered, but... Actually, it is. Detloff's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowet. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detloff. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detloff? You gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. Oh. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Okay. Okie dokie. The freaking Duchess is gonna be like, No, I don't like it. I don't like that option. I want you to kill him because he's, he's mean and he killed people. Wine is sacred. Mm. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, not the most pleasant. Mm-hmm. Wine Wars, Night for Hire, <sighs> blah, 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 Hunger Game. Oh! Big hearted as he was, could not leave the woman to fend for herself. Okay, so I'm supposed to go back and visit her now? Okay, okay. I need, I would like to do... Wasn't there one that was like specifically asking for the Witcher... The Witcher Geralt? Did I miss it? Did I fail it or something? Hmm, nope, only failed those. Oh, it's with your contract. Okay. A specific one. Let's uh, run back home really quick. Oh. It's so crowded. I wish. Uncle, did you call me Uncle Fat Fingers? Is that what you said? Uncle Fat Fingers, really? I hope Marlene hasn't murdered everybody in my house. I did investigate the story, Professor Moreau. I don't have nearly enough money to finish my witcher gear. I don't, there's no way I'm gonna have to upgrade my house. What? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, hello? You all right? I do not know how I will ever repay your witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I got it short. Yes. Years of suffering. You know what was worse than the hunger? 
Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. Uh, she could stay here. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No. She looks thank much better. You. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. But you had kids? These baubles are no use to me now. But to you, well. I mean, I'm just, it's like. Let them be a token of That's not my how nobles usually went about having kids. Them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate it. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brood as a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking. Even as a child, my gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. That's a lot of effort still. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white? Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd nah. never want you to stay against yeah, your yeah. will. Gerald's being so polite. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Is it the kind of food that'll help me on the blood of broken bones sort of thing? Because that would be great. But I think I'm gonna probably grab some stuff out of my chest, see about selling it off to the guy, and trying to get my manticore armor finished off. Um, and then I'll probably do a hunt, to be honest, because I probably still, well, I'll sell my stuff off, but I will probably not have enough money still. And I could go get the diary, of course, but I think I might also... Test out some big game hunting. Get my only Witcher contract of the area done. I guess I haven't looked at the boards, really, have I? I could do that. At least get the quests, even if I'm not going to do them. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to call this one here. And I will see you in the next one.